What's up, Melbourne? What's up, Melbourne? What's up, Melbourne? Welcome to this week's episode of NBA Today. I'm Hunter Boschel. And I'm Audie. Hey, Audie. Have you heard about the new study hall rules? I have, but it's a little complicated for me. Let's get in the zone with Mr. Artizone to find out more. Well, I sure hope I keep my grades up. Did you feel the heat this weekend? I sure did. I made sure to keep cool at the Island Fling. This year's Island Fling was an amazing multicultural experience with live music from all over the world and amazing food from all over the islands. Students were able to experience a small part of island culture and had a great time. I'm already looking forward to next year's Island Fling. Man, I wish I hadn't missed it. I'll have to check it out next year. This past weekend, the 17th annual Pig on the Pond event was held on Lake Mineola in downtown Claremont. The two-day event hosted a full carnival barbecue and food pavilions, live music concerts, kids' art and activity tables, and even pig races. This is Claremont's biggest fundraising event of the year, with all proceeds being donated to the local education programs and scholarships. Students had a great time going on the carnival rides and eating all types of healthy foods, including funnel cakes, cotton candy, and even fried Oreos. Speaking of good food, Montverd has recently formed a new food committee. We interviewed Pia to see what it's about. Hi, I'm Savannah Swenson and I'm here with Pia. So Pia, can you tell me about the food committee? The food committee is a group of students and teachers who pretty much come together every Monday after school in the dining hall and we talk about uh, better food options for the students and the teachers and we just want to encourage students to eat at the dining hall. And about how many people do you think are on the food committee? I would say we have about six students and maybe about ten teachers on the committee. That's great. Thank you. Man, all this talk about food is making me pretty tired. Me too, especially with the time change. Let's see how students around campus are dealing with it as well. Uh, wow, I'm pretty tired, so let's head on over to sports. What's up, Aunt Verd? It's your favorite stuntman, Jake, with the best sports around. And I'm the other one. Yesterday, our boys varsity baseball <laughs> team played Tavares, and today they play Trinity Christian home at 4.30. Good luck. Speaking of baseball, the boys JV teams play tomorrow against South Lake away at 5 p.m. Our undefeated JV lacrosse team plays two games away, one today against Vieira, and another at TFA tomorrow. Yesterday, our tennis team played against First Academy Leesburg, and today away against Cornerstone Charter. Good luck, tennis team. Lastly, the softball team has a district away game against Atlantic today at 4, and our girls will be competing in a one-day tournament Saturday, home at 8. Hope you all can come and support. That's, that's, all, for, <laughs> that's all for sports. I'm, I'm Zach. I mean, I'm Jake, you know. And I'm your favorite twin, signing off for today. Thanks, sports crew. Continuing with our faculty appreciation series, we thought we would talk to some of our married faculty and staff around campus. Let's see how they get along working together. So this is not our first circus together. Um, <laughs> we actually met at another school and taught together at that school for six years, mm -hmm. then moved to a second school, taught at that school for nine years, and then she abandoned me <laughs> for three years. And one of the major reasons we decided to come to Montverde was it was an opportunity for us to teach together again. And we've really enjoyed that opportunity throughout our career. That is very true. Um, it's exciting to be able to go to the same place and have the same experiences, um, especially experiences here at Montverde that have been very different and very exciting. And to make that journey together makes it all the better for us. It's nice to be able to talk about kids again that you actually know and have together. I, I enjoy doing that. We, we have traditionally taught at the same grade level most of our career, so we share students. And it helps us a lot because if a kid's going <laughs> through something, my wife, the eternal mother, I can just send them to her and she can make everything better.
because as you've noticed, we're, we're just a little bit different in our approaches, um, but with the same philosophy that it's about the kids. What is it like to be a couple working at Montbird? Well, so far it's been an amazing experience. It really has been. Um, you know, we get to raise Tegan in a wonderful community. A very, very diverse community. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, you know, we get to see things together as a couple. We get mm -hmm. to watch people grow. I mean, and I really see our jobs as two sides to the same coin. Yeah. Um, you know, as a teacher and as a coach, you know, I see more of a mentor and a teaching realm, and, and she's everything else. I mean, mm -hmm. I mean... Yeah, well, and as a resident faculty, I basically just take care of everything else. Um, I help them grow and mature and just make their their life at Montvert worthwhile. I mean, and as a couple, we when we work together, oh, yeah. we do we do a lot of things for the girls. We we bake them cookies. 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 <laughs> and <laughs> and then we do take them on the trips like dorm night out. We always take them like buffet. Oh stuff yeah, like that, that. Was, that was really that good. That was a great trip. That was our recent trip. So I mean, being working as a couple here, it, it's been it's been a wonderful, wonderful experience, and we are so so thankful to be here. And now it's time for some desk mentions. The music conservatory will have new student auditions at 9 a.m. on Saturday, March 21st. Also, the equestrian team is competing in two shows out of town on Saturday, March 21st. Good luck, team. Finally, we'll see you all on the track this Friday for Night for the Cure. Well, this wraps it up for this week's showing of MBA Today. From all the students and myself in the TV Studio Broadcasting Course in the Stevens Media Arts Building, I'm Hunter. And I'm Audie. See, see you later, Montbridge. Montbridge.